Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. And yes, the podcast is back. And I've renamed it. It's called Real Talk now because I lost count of how many podcasts I did before. So um, here we are renaming it, starting from number one. And we'll see how many we get to. Um, but yeah, sorry guys, I haven't actually made any sort of podcast or long format video this year. Um, we'll see how it goes, changing it up a bit. Maybe we're going to do only like 20 minutes, you know. But yeah, it's been a wild year. 2020 has been crazy. 2021 has been different, but crazy as well in the same way. Like, who would have thought? Um, you know, good news is I got the vaccine. Many people I know have. A lot of people sadly haven't got it yet. Um, it, it's a long road ahead, you know. A, a world vaccination program would take years. We'll see how we go, but um, in my own little world, it's good because I've got the vaccine, you know. And people I know are getting it. So it's good news, guys. Should it be inside my arms where the Nago stop <laughs> Guys, you never believe this. Um, so I ordered some sweets from some good friends of mine who started like a sweet shop online on Instagram. It's called Prestige Candy Co. And I'll drop the name below somewhere here and you can go and check it out and buy some sweets if you want because I crave sugar sometimes and you know pick and mix those kind of sweets that you would normally get at like the cinema or da down the road um, at the corner shop or wherever it is um, something that's missing these days because you know pick and mix is like the ultimate way to get corona so an online site where you can buy uh, sweets is brilliant. Um, so thank you um, to Prestige Candy Co. And um, yeah, go buy some sweets basically. Um, little promo in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna be eating those all day now. I'm gonna be just thinking about that this whole podcast. Um, but yeah, good news, you know. A lot of people getting their jabs. I was ill for two days, I'll not lie. I was actually in a bad way and yeah well what do you want really I mean do you want Covid or do you want a vaccine that gives you slight slight symptoms like flu symptoms like who cares like what, what was the big deal it was two days now I'm fine some people regardless of which one they had which company um, they haven't had symptoms some people have they say it's due with age but I don't know because some people Older people have had symptoms, but a lot of people over 70 that have had it have had no symptoms, so yeah. And you know what I've noticed it's really weird, like in the world of politics right now, not to, not to uh, just change the subject completely, but um, you know, Donald Trump, you don't hear nothing about him anymore. Yeah, he got he didn't get impeached again, he, he beat the case again. So he still gets his secret service and all those things. And he can still choose to run again in four years' time, annoyingly. But since he's not been president, it's been quiet, I'll be honest. Like, no weird stories coming out of uh, Donald Trump's Twitter account or, you know, anything of from the White House, from him, some weird statement or anything, because he's not there. And Biden is just doing what every other president does, just normal stuff, trying not to attract attention. But Trump would be just having to go at someone on Twitter. And yeah, he got acquitted of the impeachment again, and it's some sort of achievement for him, I don't know. Sadly, it means he can run in four years, but we'll see. And uh, he said some nasty things about some of the senators, um, and I uh, just criticising how they look, like, come on, Trump. I mean, this is all he does. But it's been exciting hearing all these funny things he says to people. It's quite... It, it's a meme. He is a living, walking meme. And people miss that in some ways. Comedians are out of content because he provided most of it. And they didn't have to do anything. But yeah, is the world a much, much better place? I don't know. There's still 
bad people in it. There's still dodgy people. Still a hell of a stupid cancel culture and people on both sides. And if you're on the fence, God, you're going to get knocked to one side or the other because people don't like people who are on the fence. They're trying to convince you to take their side. Or if you're not on their side, you're against them, therefore you're the enemy. And that's, I don't know. But there are people who think Trump was second coming of, like, Jesus. Who knows? Uh, I mean, that's blasphemy if you're a person with any sense. Because why would you think that? But everyone's entitled to their opinion. You've got to say that these days. But no, I mean, for me personally, like, 2020 has been the most educational year. Like, you learn how, I've learned how to, you know, have faith in myself and things around me when outside this house maybe things are falling apart and it feels like everything's turning sour and going to shit basically uh, but you got to have faith in like your own little circle, your family, your friends those around you as long as they're safe you know, I'm not saying be selfish and don't care about the rest of the world but family comes first in a lot of ways and this year I've been fortunate to live in a house with well, fortunate, I say unfortunate at times, uh, to live in a house with other people, with three other people. Um, some people don't have that luxury, maybe stuck in a house on their own or with one person that isn't always great. Um, and no, it's been a year that, for all the potential loneliness, it's been a lot of togetherness, like Zoom or whichever way you, you communicate with your loved ones. Um, more than just a phone call, you know. Nowadays we've got so many more ways. And if you're bored, then I don't know what you're doing because I haven't found a moment where I've been actually bored. Um, you know, at least in the summer I could go out and still film my vlogs. Now it's a bit more difficult, but I've kind of gone into the gaming world and not come out yet of that, like place where I'm stuck basically. I'm continuously gaming when I'm not making videos or eating or um, watching football. Well, I say that, it's been a bit of a up and down season for Tottenham and probably every team really has had the up and down moments this season. About eight different teams have been top of the league, the Premier League anyway, but some of you don't even care about football so I'm not going to go into that. I mean, I said that a long time ago that I was never going to make this channel about football. Uh, every now and then it does turn into that. And in 2018 with the World Cup it did. Uh, with how, Eng how well England did. That was a dream that summer. Uh, I had a lot of fun vlogging that time. Because there's so much going on. People were so happy, you know. And then two years later, bang. All this is happening. And, you know. I've been out the house twice this year. Once for the dentist, once for the vaccine. It's so strange. And it's kind of the normality now. You say when things get back to normal, but what do you mean by normal? Because they're not going to be how they were before. A lot of things have changed for the better, a lot of things changed for the worse. For the what? I don't know. For the worse? For better or worse, I don't know. But yeah. Like I said, it's been educational for me. Um, really annoying for a lot of people, of course. And for me at times, I just got fed up. Yeah, um, but like I said, friends and family have kept me going. Uh, kept me, you know, not bored in some ways. I haven't been bored because I've been trying to keep up with you guys. Yeah, I've been uh, like a bit lazy with the channel this year. But, you know, I've had no way of getting out and making content like I'm used to. Um, yeah, live streaming, I've been doing that a lot more. That's another way to communicate with my fans and get content out there and just feel good when it's uploaded, you know. When I upload a video and I haven't done many. And yeah, I had one removed earlier in the year where I did it like a Reddit review, um, which has been annoying to get over and like but one of them things really with YouTube like some stuff just copyright BAM straight away other stuff no copyright strike don't know what's going on 
Um, but that is the reality, really. And, yeah, YouTube has been a mess this year in general. All the the rule changes and, like, they, they, they're getting computers to, and algorithms to check all the copyright, which is not fair, um, because they're just machines. They don't have any human understanding. Or do they? You know, AI, as Elon Musk said, is, you know, the way of the future, and, like, he's a bit scared of it himself. And if Elon Musk is scared of something, God, it's got to be a problem with it then. Even though he does love AI at the same time, I don't, I don't, I don't know. And he's the richest guy in the world now. He is proper rich, if he wasn't already. Um, and yeah, I mean, from the moment when he was on Joe Rogan's podcast, um, smoking a spliff, then you knew this guy was like, not your average rich guy. You know, he's a bit quirky, he's a bit um, different. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the Teslas are expensive, I I I'll say that, and SpaceX, the amount of money he's spent on that is just amazing. Like, the faith he's had in it, all the times he's failed and carried on. Even Tesla at the beginning was not anywhere near as good as it is now. But he really paved the way. But what do I know? <laughs> I'm just a vlogger, a YouTuber, whatever you call me. I don't know. But yeah, I'm still live streaming on Fortnite. Trying to do that on GTA as well. Um, I don't know why I'm back into GTA, but my friends convinced me that the Kaya Perica heist is worth doing. If you know anything about GTA, you know. that yeah, while you make money, it's still annoying with the prep missions. But, you know, moving back to reality, it's been a difficult few months. Because the weather is miserable, we can't go out. While well, I'm shielding still. Despite having the vaccine, of course. Because, you know, if they just open everything up and no one's had the vaccine, then it's just going to go south again, isn't it? And who knows what's going on. Bojo's not saying nothing. It's confusing everyone. At least in the first two lockdowns, we kind of knew when we were coming back to work, when things would get a bit more normal when pubs would open, things like that. But who really knows now? I mean, that's one of my new, new Year's resolutions, to be able to go to a pub. Will that happen? Who knows? Will it happen anytime soon? I don't know. Um, I'm amazed I got the vaccine. As soon as I did, I was thinking more along the lines of Easter or April. But I am a vulnerable person in terms of someone that's more likely to get really ill from having COVID or worse. Um, I hate using the word vulnerable, it doesn't even, it's not even fair. Because it, it just puts you in the category. Like, vulnerable in what way? Yeah, can, my immune system is crap. That's it. That's all I can say, really. Through no fault of my own. So, vulnerable is not really the right word. I don't know. But it's what they use, and everyone's in categories now. I hate it. But, um, just have to think of things when they will get better, have faith that they will, um, even in the darkest of times, like, like, it's gonna pass, you know, can it get any worse? Um, you've got to be thankful for what you've got. I always think that, you know, just wake up in the morning, just say thank you that you've got a roof over your head, that you've got enough money to live normally, um, that you've got people around you that care about you, that want the best for you, which is always a difficult thing to see, because people show some people show uh, love and care in a weird way. Um, parents, you know, siblings, uh, but it's all love at the end of the day, and they mean well, you know. And yeah, it's stuck in a house with your family isn't always easy. It gets annoying at times. You just want more of your own space, and I think people now after this might appreciate time spent alone more um, because time spent alone with yourself is how you learn about who you really are um, you know you learn about what you actually want from life what is really important and what isn't and this year has taught me that uh, the last three months especially because it really missed normal life more than ever 
in the whole pandemic. Um, and we thought 2020 was going to be much better, and I think it is, but not yet. It hasn't started getting better. Of course, it's great that I've got the vaccine, so I say it hasn't started getting better, but that is a sign of hope, of better things to come. But that's only the UK. I can't speak for the rest of the world in terms of vaccine, but... Um, yeah, it's just a relief that it's finally being rolled out. I mean, think about the things Trump said, like, oh, it'll be gone by the summer because apparently sunlight kills it. Uh, when you hear that. And then Trump was saying, oh, drink bleach. That'll, that'll stop you getting it. And people believed him because people think he's bloody sent from, I don't know, from fucking, who cares? I'm fed up with talking about that guy. But they, they think he's special when he's not. He is special in a different way. Unique. Let's just say unique. But yeah. Um, I haven't got no time for... for... bullshit anymore, really. That's another thing this year has taught me, you know. Time is money. Your time is valuable. Don't waste it on people that will waste your time and ultimately drag you down. You know? You've got to believe that you got you got the willpower or the strength or whatever word you want to use, uh, determination or grit to get through the situation. Because that's what we've been doing this year, just gritting our teeth, just getting through it. And some people better than others. Um, you know, people say, oh, you know, uh, anyone who says they haven't been affected is, like, ignorant because you have, you just don't know it. And I say, I uh, said at times, yeah, it's not getting to me that much, but it has done, and it has got to us all in some way. If not physically, mentally, or emotionally, or some way. Because that's normal, that's human nature. You know, to feel imprisoned when you can't do what you normally do. You can't live your normal life. But just have the faith that you'll be able to get back to that soon. And... I don't know how soon, but at some point, I just want to go to a pub, I want to go to a party, I want to, you know, socialise. And it was weird the other day going out to the dentist, like seeing other human beings. I thought I'd be freaked out and really weirded out. But no, it was pretty normal, to be honest. Um, you know, human interaction is needed, like not on the computer, actual human interaction. You need it to be sane. You know, and I'm on the way back, getting out of the car, and I see one of our neighbours, or, well, someone that lives in our street, and I haven't seen them, you know, for a year, and it was just, it's like no time passed, really. You know, you'd think it'd be awkward, but it wasn't. It was like, no, like I saw him the other day. It was as if I saw him the day before. Um, you know. And, it, and I was like, I haven't been out this year at all. It's like, well, that fresh air must be, like, nectar to you, you know. It's like, bloody hell, yeah. Like, fresh air. It's too, it's too cold to go in the garden, let alone... people. Everyone's going out and walking, yeah. But I just can't cope with that. Uh, that's never been my thing. In freezing cold weather, anyway. Gets a bit warmer than maybe, but... And maybe that sounds stupid and, like, a poor excuse. But, you know, where are you going to go, really? Um, yeah, I, I encourage going out and getting a breath of fresh air, going for a walk. Um... It's great, don't get me wrong. But, you know, you just have to find a thing that helps you and keep doing that and stick to some sort of routine. And I have to say, throughout this whole pandemic, I never at once had a day where I thought, I'm going to stay in my pyjamas all day. I'm going to just not change clothes and just be like a lazy person all day. I never had one day when I actually did that. Maybe I felt like that, but I never did that. I always got up, you know, made sure I was eating properly, got some fresh air, you know, meditated in some way or did something that would keep, like, keep me, like, level-headed, I guess. And I don't always meditate. It's not something I've always done. Uh, music helps a lot. 
I listen to a lot of music all the time anyway. But through this pandemic it helped. And, you know, that's my form of meditation sometimes. Or just being alone with your thoughts and just thinking over things, I guess. But I, I have the tendency to overthink a lot because it's just in my nature, you know, just... But, um, yeah, you just think about how things are going to get better. That's what I think about, you know. What I, what I used to do, what I used to enjoy, um, what I'm going to get back to enjoying after. And, yeah, maybe it can make you miss that actual thing, but, um, you know, it makes those memories more precious, I guess. And it makes you more motivated to make more of those. And, yeah, maybe some people have forgotten how to socialise, but I haven't. I didn't feel like I have. Um, it's not like you're not talking to anyone all day. Yeah, you're talking to screens and on the phone and video calls, but it's not like you're completely isolated. But literally, it is a difference between that and actual human contact. And, yeah, people think it's similar, but... And it, uh, maybe I said that, maybe I said it is not that far off, you're not completely alone, but just something different about the interaction eye to eye with another human being. And I'm lucky I've got other people in my house that I can communicate with, alleviate stress through talking with, you know. And sometimes that results in arguing, a lot of the time that results in arguing. Uh, but that's normal, that's, that's healthy, I guess. You can't just be happy all the time, nothing bother you, bothers you. Everything bothers someone in some way. Uh, we've all got something that just annoys us. Uh, something that triggers you. And I just want to... I don't know, just... Know that... I don't know, things will get better, but... At the same time, know that if the difficult things do arise, you have the... The, 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 the power and the... I don't know the willingness to get through it and know that it will get better. I don't know how many times I've repeated the, the same thing now, but you've just got to convince yourself that it will. Even if, as bleak as things might get. And just keep going, basically. Uh, that's all I can say. Some real talk there. But um, I feel like of, of a lot of people... I'm probably more tolerant of, of this situation than other people I, I've come into contact with or spoken to. Um, but just think that, you know, I try and cheer other people up. People that I know and I, I can see that are, are down or upset in this current moment. But just realise that it is up to the individual if they want to change their mood, change their way of life in some way. It is up to them. You can't actually force them or convince them 100%. Most of it will be down to them if they want to change. And I'm no expert, but like an addict to something in some ways, um, it's got to be down to them to want to stop what they're doing and change their life. You can convince them as much as you want. And yeah, support them and be there for them. But it's up to that individual. And with some people, I just... You know, I, I'm, I'm still sticking to what I know, which is positivity and conviction, you know. Even if maybe I don't feel that myself. That is so annoying when the camera just, the camera just went off um, and died, the battery died. Typical, isn't it? On the podcast it always happens. Um, but as I was saying, like, I've been that, that rock for other people, that positive light, that thing that tells them to keep going. Um, you know, that symbol of strength you know and it takes a toll being that way and you know when you're the person that's struggling yourself it's difficult to reach out and tell others and say oh, I'm having a bad day you know but it's part of of life not just this year you know ups and downs moments we of complete despair that you're gonna you're gonna have and that's normal and mental health has been a big factor this year for a lot of people. Uh, a thing that has changed lives 
and I, I, I've seen it as well, uh, personally, so I know that it's not easy, and it's not, not easy for those around to see it happening to someone they know, um, and, but you, you know, you, once you've been through it, um, you appreciate everything so much more, and the people around you, and the little things that just make a difference, really, you know, um, and maybe I've spent too much time indoors, probably I have, but I just, yeah, my, my outlook on life hasn't changed, if not, it's improved, because I value time a lot more, and I try not to waste any, uh, because maybe in some ways it's been a year that people have felt that it's been wasted, I certainly haven't wasted it, because I've done a lot of things on my channel that I'm proud of, and I've improved on a lot of things in my own life, and worked on myself, and made new friends along the way, maybe not in person, but I have, and strengthened other friendships, and things like that, no matter how far they have been, it's been difficult um, along the way, not just for me, but for everyone, for my family, because the risk of me getting it was high, um, well, we all were very careful, we've been very careful, but now I've got the vaccine, just the pressure off our shoulders, um, eased a bit of stress there, um, because the, at the beginning it was very stressful for my parents, because they were still working, and the risk of bringing it home to me and my brother, me especially, uh, was huge, and what the potential um, for what Covid could do to someone like me is something I don't want to think about, and they didn't want to think about, but we had this looming over our shoulders, and to get the vaccine just changed it. And yeah, people had doubts, oh yeah, they're inserting microchips into us, all these things, but at the end of the day, I value my life, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, and I want, don't want to put others at risk. It's not just for me, it's for other people that I don't want to put at risk from not having it. Like, if you, you're there, like, no, I'm not having it. I, whether I agree with having it or not, it's not the point. Um, my health comes first, and people should be thinking that way. After a year we've had all about look, keeping fit and looking after yourself, because if you do get this, you don't know how difficult it's going to be, um, you know, you've got to look after yourself, more than ever, more than ever guys, and I'm going to leave you there, and I'm going to see you next time, on Real Talk, this has been episode one, it's been great, thank you for joining me, if you've stuck with me all the way through, and like, share, comment, and hit that sub button, take it easy fam, peace. Thank you.